Hello guys, welcome back. So before we go ahead and proceed further, I have a couple of things that I want to tell you about. The first one is what is a dev hub org and the second one is a scratch org. So the developer hub org is lets you create and manage the scratch orgs. So what you have is inside of the dev hub org, you can have multiple scratch orgs and scratch org is a source driven and disposable deployment of the Salesforce code and metadata, which is made for developers and for the automation purpose. So the scratch core, the scratch org is basically source driven. So you write your code inside of it. If there is something that you wanted to twist, test quickly, so what you do is you create a scratch org, you write your code, you share it with your peers, and then once your everything is done, you can get rid of that scratch org. So scratch org is basically for the coding purpose and for testing purpose as well. It is completely different than a sandbox. What is the difference between a scratch org and a sandbox? So the scratch org is a source driven and disposable deployment of sales course and metadata. So you can dispose it whenever you want and it is driven by the source. So you write your source code for your testing, for automation, whereas sandbox is generally it's a copy of production. Yes, you write code in there, but it's generally basic. It is a duplicate of the production if, if you're talking about a full sandbox and scratch orgs have a duration. So they are not permanent, they are temporary. And whenever your work is done, you can delete them. Whereas sandboxes, they are permanent. Scratch org, they do not include any production data. Whereas sandbox include production data. The scratch org benefit is they are very good for deployments and also can be used for reviewing the code with, the, your, with your peers. They are very good for automation and also you can use them to get enhanced test coverage. Sandboxes are used for staging, performance testing, licensing, etc. So that is the purpose of the sandbox. Scratch orgs, you can have up to 25 scratch orgs for a dev hub org. So inside of your dev hub, you can have up to 25 scratch orgs. Sandboxes, you, based on the addition, you can have multiple sandboxes. Scratch org is a temporary org, which is just for your testing, writing your code, testing your application, sharing it, all that stuff. And once you everything is done, you can just delete it. And every scratch org has a duration. So they have a time limit and the maximum time limit is, I think it's up to 30 days. You can have a scratch org. And once that is achieved, you can, you have to, it'll get just deleted. Whereas sandbox, they don't have any expiration date. So this is the difference between a scratch org and a sandbox. Now, the next thing we need to do is in order to start creating the lightning web component, we will need to set up a dev hub org and also we need to set up a scratch org. So before we do that, we will set up our developers account. So in order to set up the developers account, we'll go to Google and uh, go to developer.salesforce.com and here hit the sign up button provide your information. So we're going to go ahead and provide your first name, Deepika, last name, email address, info at mytutorialrack.com, role developer, company name, mytutorialrack, country, United States, postal code 75071. And then I'm going to provide my username, which is let's say Deepika, lightning web components one at mytutorialrack.com so this is going to be my username and then accept the terms and condition and then sign me up so this is going to send me an email so let's go ahead and open the email account so i have received an email let's click this verify account and it will open your developers account and you'll have to set up your password so we're going to go ahead and set up the password here and then change password. So we have created our developers account. Now we need to enable my domain in this org. So in order to do that, we'll go to setup and we'll go to my domain here. And we are going to enable the my domain feature. So here, let's say my tutorial rack lwc1 
check the availability if it's available yes it's available now we'll go ahead and register the domain this is important this is a prerequisite in order to create lightning web components you have to set up my domain now it might take a couple of minutes registering the domain so in the meantime we will go ahead and enable the dev hub org so just go to setup and type in dev hub and then take to take you to the dev hub screen and here you're going to enable the dev hub and now once it is enabled you cannot disable it and as i told you what is the purpose of the dev hub it's used to create and manage the scratch orgs from the command line you can view information about the scratcher orgs and you can link the namespace org so you can do all these three things in this dev hub and one dev hub can manage up to 25 scratch orgs and scratch orgs are nothing but source driven and uh, you can delete them whenever you want so now let's go back to my domain and see if the registration is done so let's go ahead and refresh it so the domain registration is done the next thing is we will go ahead and log in and i don't want to register my phone And here we'll go to the my domain again and then we have to deploy it to the users so let's go ahead and click ok now the domain has been deployed to users so my domain is ready so far what we have done is we have downloaded salesforce cli we have we have an ide we have enabled the dev hub and we have also done the my domain so all these four things are done. The next thing we need to do is we need to go ahead and set up a scratch org and an SFDX project. So in order to do that, we will use Visual Studio commands. So how to do it, I'll show you in the next tutorial. Thank you and have a wonderful day.